what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? On yesterday, dun, 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 Bill Cosby was granted the right to legally fight his 2018 conviction for sexual assault. The Supreme Court of Pennsylvania ruled that it would take a closer look at Bill Cosby's legal bid to fight the criminal case's outcome after a jury found him guilty of drugging and sexually assaulting a woman, Andrea Constant, at his mansion in 2004. Specifically, the court would take a look into Bill Cosby's challenging testimony from women who accused him of supplying them with quaaludes before sexually assaulting them, according to the ruling. The Supreme Court judges will determine whether the jury should have heard from the women, many of whom Bill Cosby was accused of abusing more than 15 years ago. The court said the women's testimony wasn't the same as the sexual misconduct that he was convicted of and that he was never criminally charged in those instances. And this is a big one. The court also agreed that Bill Cosby could object to the Montgomery County District Attorney's going back on his word that Bill Cosby would not be prosecuted if he spoke truthfully in a deposition that was part of a lawsuit filed initially against Bill Cosby. Now, this whole thing is a good look for Bill Cosby, but it's a blow to the Me Too movement. Having said that, Bill Cosby spokesperson, Andrew Wyatt, called the news a victory for Black Lives Matter. As we have all stated, black people are under attack around the globe. The same rules that apply for everybody else don't apply for black people. In fact, let me switch that around. The same rules that apply for black people don't seem to apply for others. It's like they make up the rules only for black people. I would say, we're going to do what we want to do. But in case they try to do what we're doing, we're going to penalize them. Do y'all agree with that? Bill Cosby's spokesperson said that this is a victory for Black Lives Matter. Him getting an appeal, being granted an appeal is a victory for Black Lives Matter. I can see why he said that. I can see why he said that. Man, let's face it, no matter how you feel about Bill Cosby, the man was railroaded. Let's just, let's call it what it is, fam. The man was railroaded. This woman got paid, fam. She took the money and agreed that she would not pursue criminal charges. She wouldn't testify in a court of law. And she went back on her word. The DA went back on his word. They went out to be a cop. Listen, no matter what your situation is, prosecutors cut deals every day for whatever reason. Most of the time they cut deals so that they can move on to other cases. They can't possibly try every case. They Prosecutors cut deals in, in over 90% of the cases. So when they cut a deal, a deal is a deal. You know, whether it's a fair deal or not, a deal is a deal. Whether you like the person or not, whether the person is notorious or beloved, a deal is a deal. Now, if the prosecutor can go back on his word with Bill Cosby, God forbid if you find yourself in that position one day or one of your loved ones find themselves in that position. Now, for you goody two-shoes, the ones who ain't never did nothing wrong and ain't got no friends who ever did anything wrong, and if your friends or your children ever do something wrong, they on their own, oh, man, I am glad I'm not friends with you. 
because we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. None of us are perfect. And I'm going to tell you something else. It's easy to say what you won't do when you haven't been faced with the decision. That's very easy to say what you won't do. When you ain't been in that situation where things are tight, your back is up against the wall, you're in unfamiliar territory, you're desperate, and then you find yourself doing something you said you'd never do. That's life. So if you ain't never been in a situation like that, just keep on living. That's all you got to do. And please come back here and give this video a thumbs up when it happens to you. Because if you keep waking up, it will. I think the man deserves a new trial. Not just an appeal. He needs to win the appeal. And he deserves a new trial and... Yeah, he deserves a new trial. And the man actually deserves to go home. Keep in mind, family, the man got railroaded, fam. It was never a fair trial. He never got a, he never got a fair shot. Bill Cosby is not a saint by no means. Boy, but if they locked up every man who slip something and somebody drank and we're talking about we're talking about the 60s and 70s you know people were people were popping pills like putting uh what do they call it spanish fly in in uh they were putting spanish fly in drinks to just to get it up and stuff and oftentimes their partners knew exactly what was going on now, if he did slip something in somebody's drink and they didn't know, that's a different story. But if you didn't know, I don't think you should, I don't think you get to wait 30 years and, and, and then come try to get somebody after 30 years. So, man, you've been grown for 30, 40 years of your life. 50 years, you've been grown for 50 years. And then all of a sudden, you know what? I think I want to. I think I want to pursue this case against this guy. Now, nah, fam, I just don't believe they would have done that to him had he been a white man. I'm not wishing any bad on you, but if by chance you found yourself trapped in this American judicial system and the prosecutors or laying it on you and you work out something and then they go back on their word. Please come back here and give this video a thumbs up. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?